Carlton, I need a taxi. Carlton? Carlton, are you there? Rhoda? Yeah, Brent. Oh. Boy, am I glad you're home. We just got back from the roller drum and I can't find Nice you. place. Uh, thank you very much. No, I meant the roller drum. You haven't been there? Oh, oh no, not, not in uh, recent years, no. <laughs> Rhoda, you remember Benny Goodwin, don't you? No, Brent, I've never met Benny. How come nobody remembers? Sure, we met twice. Oh, well, a uh, long time no see. Last week. <laughs> Rhoda, Liz, this is not a social call. See, I must have lost my keys and I can't get into my apartment. So can I borrow your key to my place? Yeah, sure. Wait a second, Brenda. Didn't I loan you my key to your place a couple of weeks ago? Oh, no. Sure I did. It's not here. You must have lost that key. Oh, great. What am I going to do now? <sighs> I'm sorry. This is all my fault here. I should never have twirled you so hard, Brenda. <laughs> The keys must have fallen out of your pocket at the roller drum. Oh, it's centrifugal force. It's yes. a good thing you got pierced ears or your earrings would have sprung right off of your lobes. <laughs> Carlton, Carlton has a spare. Listen, I hope you had better luck than I did. He wasn't there a minute ago. Carlton! Hey, Carlton! Isn't that typical? There's never a drunk when you need one. <laughs> uh, listen, why don't you two stay here, wait in the apartment till uh, Carlton gets back. I'm going to a late movie with Sally, so huh. make yourselves at home. And can I take anything you like? Oh, thanks, Ron. Uh, Benny, you want to split a soda? Sure. I like your sister. Oh, thanks. I'm glad we're alone like this, Brenda, because there's something really important I got to tell you. It's been on my mind all day, and I got to tell it to you right now. Brenda? Well, I'm off. Oh, thanks again, Ron. Sure. Hey, nice seeing you again. Uh, yes, yeah, so long, uh... Benny. <laughs> so, go on, Benny. What were you saying? Huh? You just said that there was something important that you wanted to tell me. I don't remember. Benny, you just said it. What, what were you trying to tell me? Oh, right, I remember. I love you, Brenda. <laughs> you said that to me on our first date. Hey, have you ever tried to figure out why you fall in love so easily? I know why. Feels good. <laughs> well, there's a lot more to love than feeling good. You have to spend a lot of time together, really get to know each other. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on my most personal, most private secret. Why don't we just start with our favorite colors? <laughs> no, I got something I really want to tell you. Listen, Brenda, if we get married, Benny, we had kids, Benny. they might not be as cute as me. <laughs> what? See, Brenda, when I was 12, I had my ears fixed. I used to look like this. How cute! You know, it was terrible. Kids used to laugh at me. Call me names, Dumbo, Flapper, Windmill Head. Benny, that's so sad. Tell me about it. My mom took me to this plastic surgeon. He pinned my ears back, changed my life. Gee, no scars. Well, some. I still cringe when I see travel posters of Holland. <laughs> No, no, I meant the outside. The doctor did a terrific job. Yeah, I know. I'm practically a knockout. <laughs> I think it's silly for people to have these hang-ups about parts of their body. I mean, you know, when they can get them fixed. Yeah. You ever thinking of changing any part of your body, Brenda? <laughs> Every part of my body, Benny. Every part. Come on, Brenda, be serious. Ah, I told you my ears. Okay, all right, all right. There is one thing that I've always been self-conscious about. My nose. Yeah, I, I used to sleep with a clothespin on it to make it thinner. So I always wanted it to be petite, but then it wouldn't go with the rest of me. Oh, boy. Our poor kids. Big ears and a fat nose. <laughs> People won't know what to laugh at first. Benny, why do you keep talking about kids? I mean, we haven't even kissed goodnight yet. That's the next thing I want to talk to you about. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, Rhoda tells me you're looking for me. What's the big deal? Yeah, where have you been? Well, hey, doormen are human, too. We need relief just like anybody else. No one can stay here for eight hours straight without going to the you-know-what. Uh, all right, Carlton, forget it. So you were in the bathroom. No, I was at the liquor store. <laughs> yeah, Brenda, is that you? Yeah. Oh, just a second, honey. 
There. Hi. Hi. You busy? Well, no, not well, a little. I'm just finishing up a sketch that I'm doing for a Bricker's pet shop window. Oh, it's their run to the litter sale. It's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, it's okay. So what's going on with you? Rhoda? Yeah? Something very strange happened to me last night. I had this very weird dream. Uh-huh. I dreamt that my nose was chasing me. <laughs> no, no, I, I think that has a lot of meaning, Rose. See, the last couple of days I've been giving my life a lot of thought, and I'm settling into a rut. My life is very routine, and I want to change it. Okay, so what does that got to do with your nose, Mayor? Well, that's what I'm thinking of changing. I mean... I, I've never been happy with my nose, so why shouldn't I change it? What? Could make a big difference in my life, getting a nose. Brenda, wait a minute, you're not talking about a nose job. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fool. I mean, you're not a fool, but... <laughs> oh, Brenda, you're kidding me, right? You're just making... No, I'm serious. You can't be Why shouldn't I be serious? Brenda Morgenstern, Mike. It's the last thing in the world you, sh you, sh you, sh you should consider. Why? Because you look wonderful the way you are. I knew you were going to say that, Ro. I knew it. That's why I want to get a second opinion. So I'm going to go see a doctor. I, you only have one nose in your life. Why not have one you like? Yeah. Why, if, if you don't like your couch, you get that recovered, right? Why not your nose? Why not make it a hider nose in case you have company? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making fun of you. I, I get your point. Go to a doctor, Brenda. Do it. Go to a doctor and see what he has to say about your perfectly good nose. I will. I will. I, I have a doctor's card here one of the girls at the bank gave me. Yeah? Yeah. Judy in the cage next to me? Sure. She had a tummy tuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Taylor. I'm going to call him. Go ahead. Use my phone. Make yourself an appointment. On second thought, maybe I'll get some more names. Yeah, why? Well, it says on this card that he's got two offices. So? One in New York and one in Tijuana. <laughs> Stern, I mm -hmm. came to talk to you about a, uh, a, a, a nose job. <laughs> nose job. That's such an ugly way of putting it. We're, we don't say nose job. What do we say? We say rhinoplasty. <laughs> do you mind if I just stay with nose job? <laughs> See, I just wanted to get your opinion. Maybe I don't need it done. My sister says my nose is fine. Do you think she's right? <laughs> You mind? I guess not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can tackle that. Oh, uh, you think it needs to be done? No. Oh. Not unless you want to improve your appearance about a thousand percent. I didn't think it was that bad. It's not. It's very functional. Probably holds up sunglasses real well. <laughs> So, tell me, who's your favorite actress? Huh? Who's your favorite actress? See, most people want to look like their favorite actor or actress. You know, Kirk Douglas's chin. Cher's cheekbones. So whose nose do you want? Oh, who's your favorite actress? Uh. <laughs> Barbara Streisand. <laughs> I, uh, I fix them. I don't break them. I, I, I don't know if I'm really ready to order a new nose right now. I thought I'd just shop around. I don't even know if I want a whole new nose. I just thought I'd like mine a little more thin, you know. I, I don't even know if I want to do that. Look, I understand. You're scared. You're nervous. You're feeling uncertain. It happens every day. Look, why don't you sit down, let me do a sketch, and we'll see what we can do with that schnoz of yours. Uh, how much is this going to cost? It's all part of the office visit. Oh. Sketch away. <laughs> uh, it's funny how important appearance is to people. You know, when I was a kid, I had a nickname. 
Want to know what they call me? What? Goose. You know why they called me Goose? Why? Because I had the biggest honker you ever saw. I don't mean big, I mean huge. Took up most of my face. It was awful being called Goose. I was miserable. Became shy, introverted, never had anyone to play with. So as soon as I was old enough, I had my nose done. Changed my life. Became secure, outgoing, and incredibly handsome. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes? Your wife's in the line. Do you want to talk to her? No, nah, I'm in the middle of something. Will you tell her I'll call her back? Okay, Goose. <laughs> Okay, uh, there. Uh, you understand it's a little rough, but it'll give you an idea. Who's this? It's you. Oh my God, you mean a nose can make all that difference? Well, I also gave you a much better hairdo. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, do you think you could just turn it up a little? Up uh, more? Yeah, just up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be beautiful. You want a new dress, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brenda? Yeah? Yeah. Come on in, honey. Boy, I made the salad to end all salad. You want to stay for dinner? Ah, uh, no thanks. I'm not hungry. Okay. Buddha, there's uh, something I want to tell you. Yeah, so tell me. Well, I don't know if I should. Well, then don't tell me. But I want to tell you. So tell me. Promise you won't get mad? Brenda, this is ridiculous. You just promise you won't get mad at what I tell you. Okay, I promise, I promise. You swear to God? Oh, Brenda, I swear I will not get mad at whatever you tell me, I swear. So tell me. Okay. I, uh... I decided to get the nose job. You decided to get the nose job. That's it? That's the big news? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is it going to cost, Bryn, you know, this uh, nose job? $1,500. Oh, $1,500, I see. Gee, Rhoda, you're really taking this well. So, uh... <laughs> Where are you going to get the money to pay for the uh, operation, Bren? Oh, I took a loan out at the bank. Oh, you're going into hock for a new nose that you don't need. <laughs> Listen, if you feel that you can handle it... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you're not mad at me. Mm. I, I figure it'll take me a few years to pay it off, but it's really worth it since this has been... Get your hands out of my salad! Get them out! Drop it, drop it! Not in the salad! Your fingers touch this lettuce! And now I'm dropping it on myself! This is disgusting, Brenda. I'm ashamed. I am ashamed of you, do you hear me? Sticking your nose in other people's food! Ah, uh -huh. that's what's really bothering you, isn't it, Rhoda? My nose. No, it's what's bothering you, young lady, your nose. Oh, Brenda, of all the foolishness. It's a good nose on your face. Good, good, but not great, oh, right? Brenda, you have a wonderful nose, just wonderful. You haven't said cute yet. Who has cute? You do. I do not. Yes, you do. I, my nose is not you cute. You do. This is cute, Rhoda. Face it. <laughs> you just got salad dressing on it. Sorry. Oh, Brenda. Well, you got the good face in the family. Brenda, I can't listen. No, it's true. It's, it's true. not true. Why is it such a sin that I want to look good? Brenda, you do look good. Not like you. Never like you. Well, all my life, I have wanted to look like you. So that's what you're doing, is that it? You're going out to get a nose like mine? No, better. <laughs> Brenda, this is, this is just so ridiculous. No, it I isn't. Can't Why can't I be beautiful, too? I want to be beautiful. Brenda Faye Morgenstern, you are beautiful. Yeah, sure, sure. To you, my and Pop. To the rest of the world, I am a fine. <laughs> all right, all right, let's talk about a whole other area. Okay, please, just stay with me here. It's expensive. $1,500, Brenda, come on. 
And you're throwing it away, a lot of money to throw away on something you don't really need. So what should I do with that money I borrowed? You think it's better to, to spend it on two weeks in Puerto Rico? Yes, I do. I want to be beautiful. Oh, Brenda, I Is know. that a crime? Okay, so maybe a nose job won't make me beautiful. But maybe it'll make me pretty. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, Brenda, listen here. Listen, I, I didn't realize that you uh, that it meant this much to you, babe. So look, if, if, if you feel that you really want it this bad, then you have it. You mean it? Sure, I mean it. Yeah. I mean, in life, Brenda, you do what makes you happy, right? So have your nose job. Stick your fingers in my salad. <laughs> oh, hold up. Yes. Oh, I really wanted you on my side. I'm always on your side. So, when are you planning to, uh, to do it? Thursday. So soon, Brent? Yeah, I, I uh, go into the hospital on Thursday, and by Friday I have a new nose. Wow. He's really a good surgeon, though. Yeah, what's his name, the doctor? Goose. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> Go, Brenda, take this. We'll be taking you to surgery in about an hour. Do I have to take her? No, but then you'll be wide awake when they crack the bone. <laughs> Hi. Is this 437? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Well, then I guess we're all going to be roommates. What are you in for? Uh, nose job. You? Facelift. You're kidding. Nope, this is my third facelift. They're wonderful. They make you feel so young. The only trouble is I find I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Rhoda, you came? Yeah, of course oh. I came. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. How are you, kid? How you feeling? I'm petrified. Yes? Yeah, I'm starting to get second thoughts about this whole thing. Oh, Brenda, you are. It's still not too late to back out. Yes, it is. They already gave me my bracelet. <laughs> hey, Brenda, is that you? <laughs> hey, they did a great job. Benny, Benny, over here. Come on. <laughs> oh, Benny, it's so sweet that you came by. Yeah, I wouldn't miss this for anything. Here you go, Brenda. Oh, you didn't have to do this. Oh, my own skates! <laughs> There's a card in there. You don't have to read it. Yeah. But the guy read the card. <laughs> Dear Brenda, you know how I feel. I don't want to get maudlin. I'd love you if you had a nose like Carl Malden. <laughs> so sweet, Ernie. You don't know how sweet. You know how hard it is to rhyme something with Malden? First I tried Balden, yeah. then Crawlden, <laughs> then Calden, enough, ben. then Crawlden. Yeah, enough, okay, okay. I tried it with Holden, but I ain't gonna work with Malden. I'm gonna put these in some water for you. Okay. I tried it with Caldron, <laughs> Goldron, then Bold. Ah, yeah, Mrs. Walden. That would've worked. <laughs> well, I had a wonderful morning. I did a face, a neck, and hair plugs. It's gonna be one gorgeous looking woman when I'm through with her. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Hello, doctor. This is my sister, Rhoda. Hi. How do you do? Great. Cheekbones. <laughs> May I just give those to my wife? Yeah, while you're at it, why don't you give her my thighs, too? <laughs> uh, this is Benny Goodwin. You have your father's eyes. <laughs> Okay, Brenda, I want to take your picture. Huh? Well, I do it for all my patients. They love to see the difference before and after. Huh? Oh. Okay, now sit up. <laughs> what are you doing? We don't have a picture together. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. No, Brenda, 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 don't smile. Never smile on the before picture, only on the after picture. <laughs> That's better. And... There we are. 
Okay, Brendan, we'll see you in a little while. Meantime, keep your chin up. Better yet, let me do it for you. <laughs> Are you absolutely positive you want to go through with this? I'm here, aren't I? Of course I'm going to go through with it. Okay, well, I guess I'd better clear out. I'll, um, uh, I'll see you then when, uh, when it's over. No, I won't. No, I won't. I will never, never see this little face again. You moving? <laughs> well, why are you making this hard for me? Because I love you. I think you look Brenda. Good. Yeah. I'm afraid your friends are going to have to leave now. We'll be rolling you downstairs in a minute. Okay. Uh, well, so long, huh, Brenda? Don't worry about a thing, huh? Thanks, Benny. First time. <laughs> uh, this is it, baby. I'll, uh, I'll see you after. Yeah. Rhoda? Yes, what? Just... Tell me I'm doing the right thing. Brenda, Brenda, I, I can't tell you to do this when I think you look perfect the way you are. Yeah, but you're the only one who feels that way. Am I? Yeah. Am I the only one? I love her dolls. <laughs> you do? I didn't want to say anything before, but I hope that's what I got. Did you hear that? That wonderful girl in gauze agrees with me. <laughs> um, I, I have to go through with this. The doctors are ready. There is a nose on a tray downstairs waiting for a face. Brenda, you do not have to go through with this. That nose will find another face. Listen to me. If you get out of this bed and walk out of this hospital, I mean, Brenda, because you really finally discover that you like yourself exactly the way you are, what a change. What a great moment. Wow. Want to do it? Oh, they already gave me a sedative. Brenda, so once you can still walk, it just means that when you walk, you will walk very calm. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got your stuff here. Oh, oh Brenda, careful, careful. Yes, yes, Bring yes, them yes. back. Okay. Now, okay. yeah. flip into your robe. Okay. Brenda, I know it's hard for you to tell, but I really am happy for you. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Nose, we're gonna go home. <laughs>be a spy. <laughs> so what can I do for you? I see you for a minute. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on in. I was just scrubbing my floor. What is uh, it? Look, Rhoda, I know you and Brenda are very close. You talk over right. a lot of personal things. All right. I just want to ask you, what does Brenda think about me? Oh, Benny, I don't know if that's something I, I should do. I got to know where I stand with her. Has she said anything about me? She has never said a word about you. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs>